Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Turf Show Show presented by Imperfect Nation Podcast. Here every Thursday, talking trash about sports. Who are we rocking with today? Hey, you got Steven, the 303, Colorado. 303? <laughs> 303. 03. Oh. 03. Zero. Oh. I, 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 he says it like every day. Oh, <laughs> All right, yeah, you already know. It's, it's, it's Young Lee. You already know. Don't murder cap. You already know. 313, Michigan, every day, all day, September 2nd. Michigan. Hey, he, he was about to shake him over the three, <laughs> over, over one digit. <laughs> he said 313. Bro, you, oh, you ain't from my hood. Yeah. <laughs> he said murder cap. You got the M on the cap. Right. Wow. On the cap. Is that what the M stands for? Murder? Murder Michigan. Michigan. Oh, okay. Murder. Murder Mint. New era doesn't, Murder sell, doesn't support violence. So, you know, Jordan, Michigan. And the only school sponsored by Jordan is Michigan. Thank you. Is it? I thought is North it? Carolina was. Yeah. You would think. No. <laughs> Maybe basketball, but not, but not more Michigan football. I've only seen uh, Jordan on a... Uh, and, uh, and, and neither is um, Cincinnati. Bro, I have never seen that. And well, we're talking about big dogs in uh, football. Damn. Damn. Big dogs. Woo. Uh, small time, small time. It's going to be like that today. <laughs> God damn. Hey, all right, well, you got Zach. Zach right from Cleveland as usual. Bro, where the land shirt at, so, bro? Right, right. That's yeah, all right. It's in the washer. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I got a new one on the way. It's all right. Never worn. Never worn. Yeah. <laughs> bro. Man, it's really, it's really real with those. Yeah, I mean, they fresh and all, right. my guy. But I mean, they ain't never worn them, so it's not fucked up to do that. I'm just saying. I mean, but they in some Chinese factory somewhere. Right. Imagine the hard sweat <laughs> labor from these young kids, man. They had to go food. through to make those, bro. Well, they did a very good job. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hey, we all win today. This stitching is amazing. <laughs> Speaking about stitching, there was a stitching that was on that uh, money belt that uh, old Mayweather won this past weekend. And, you know, everybody's already talked about it, but we figured we'd do a little quick recap on it. So how would y'all guys feel about that fight? Because I know we all watched it for free. Right. I didn't pay no $100 for it. I didn't pay 100 I did pay an entrance fee to a, <laughs> to a certain facility that did pay for it. So I am complicit in that. I mean, I guess you could say technically I got paid to watch the fight. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, man, I watched it in a scope truck. Right. So, I mean, <laughs> you know, I mean, I was already back in the station. <laughs> saying, yeah, it was, it was a, I watched it on, on a Facebook comment. Someone posted right. the link. <laughs> okay. On my phone. Yeah, that's, that's what's up. Yeah, I, got, I, I got the only part that mattered really, like the last round and a half. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. It, Honestly, man, it mattered before that. Yeah? Yeah, man. It was, I, I, people were saying it was rigged or whatnot. I don't know about all that. All I know is that. That it was good to see Floyd actually, because everyone always says he's ducking and dodging yeah, and always yeah. running. Yeah. It was good to see him actually square up, walk down. And yeah, everybody keeps talking yeah. about how uh, McGregor was able to hit, to hit him so many more times than Pacquiao. I'm like, if anybody walks towards you, <clears throat> you should be able to hit him. I'm just saying, yeah. I can hit Mayweather. I think I, me. I think that comes from, uh, I guess, the early onset, like like how you said he missed it. You know, he seen he seen just like the last round and a half, but like leading up to that, um, McGregor, you know, in the early rounds, very aggressive. Walking them down, you know what I'm saying? Very eager to, you know, get into the fight. Yeah, kind of like MMA style or whatever. And account to what you're saying, um, <laughs> he landed what a recorded 111, yep, 111. Uh, 111 hits. Yep. All of them to which were non threatening. You know what I'm saying? He had that one uppercut yeah, early. Maybe like eight legit. Yeah, like he had one, he had like that one uppercut early on that was pretty decent, but I mean, None of them hits were really damage inflicting at all. I don't think it didn't appear to be. Yeah, because it's according to Copy Box, uh, Mayweather landed 170, McGregor landed 111. He also Mayweather also landed 58 percent of his power shots. So true. I mean, yeah. I just, I, it was good to see actually Mayweather. Actually oh yeah, definitely. Getting he got aggressive like that. He he sought to put him away in that tenth round, and and you know I was, I was kind of happy about that too. But well, here's the thing though. He so did he, call it. Even if he didn't stop in that tenth round. He was still winning. The yeah, he was yeah. he was up at that point. He was up at that point. It was, it was point. good to see because I mean McGregor got some weight on him. And McGregor has a has he a, was like twenty pounds heavier. Yeah, a reach on him. And I, I I really haven't seen Floyd fight guys with that kind of reach on him. So it was it was funny to see how in the beginning Mayweather like was a little bit at a distance, you know, figuring him out. But at the same time, you giving him that distance, mm-hmm. you know, that McGregor was actually like I think he landed most of his punches early on because yeah, well, of he won the first three rounds. Tired, but even still. Like, yeah, he wasn't ready. He, he wasn't ready for the 12 ready, round. But he, even still, to see him actually, like, Mayweather actually get in close, 
Man. And I mean, and Mayweather's not known to knock people out. Right. Nah. So it like, was, he was he was trying towards the end there. He was trying to like, lay him out. And, you know, he would lay him out. Hey, if he had that two more minutes to go. Hey, I'll, I'll send you I'll send you the link for the show notes. But yeah, there's there's a lot of footage now that that's coming out to pretty much expose you know the fallacy and this belief that that McGregor even stood a chance because it it was. He, it was pretty poor. I, I you thought. know, I I disagree because I don't think tra- in the way they're tra- trained, the way he uh, would normally train for mm-hmm. a boxer. But there's no tape on McGregor. You know, you can't. Like, you know, I mean, like, okay, I'm, I'm like I'm actual actual boxing. I, Cowboys, yeah. But when you don't have tape on rookies, you know, they can they can surprise you. Yeah. And True. So there's no way to really count. And he's a southpaw too. I mean, the play was good against southpaws, but southpaws are tricky, man. Yeah. I mean, you know. I, I believe you know he he they did as much homework as they felt they needed to and and right. supposedly you know Floyd changed his game plan throughout the fight a couple of times to kind of you know adapt I to think the once situation. He, he got that uppercut that y'all was talking about. That's when he was like, all right, I know his heart is hit. Now I know what Donnie got to do. Just well, put his he was head in the chin. He though know, I think Connor's stronger than people think he was. Oh yeah, he was because t- I, I don't think Floyd was really trying to have those some of those shots, man. Like, he kind of well, everybody keeps talking about the gloves and everything. And they're like, oh, the eight ounce gloves. You can feel knuckles, but they wrap their hands inside those gloves. It's right. still gonna, yeah, it's yeah. gonna dampen those he's shots. Salty, but... I'm like, but everybody called. He's like, he's gonna wear him down, and he's gonna be gas. I mean, by the time the eighth round, well, yeah, the eighth round rolled around, dude was gas. Yeah. You know, and yeah, for someone who who was for all this time calling it out, because it, was, you know, it wasn't like they just took this fight, you know, on a whim. Like this, there's been a lot of you know time mm-hmm. setting up for this fight, so. A to me, for shape. for McGregor to be out of shape in that sense, where he was gassed, and I'm talking about going into like seventh round, like that's to me, I thought that was poor on his part because you weren't ready for this fight. Had it gone the distance, <laughs> yeah. who would have known what the outcome would have been? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah, you want to make him tired, make him miss. I mean, from what I saw, he could barely keep his hands up. Exactly. Well, and he that's had his my right thing. hand up the whole first three rounds. Was like, <laughs> I mean, again, yeah. So yeah, he didn't have the endurance for this and yeah. the stamina. But the, he la- did. the last thing <laughs> he didn't have uh, topic. How do y'all feel about him talking about? Oh, you know, you should have just let me go down on my shield. No, because I think the ref by him stopping it, he actually gave Connor a cop out. Just like you, he yeah. actually saved the USC boys. Yeah. Because if you went got knocked out by a guy that who just let's just like you said who hasn't knocked out anybody in a long ass time, if you would have got knocked out by him by a forty year old man who's been retired for two years, twenty pounds lighter, yeah. and you got knocked out by him. Talk so much shit, dude. But yeah. now he gave you a cop out, like, right, like didn't have, you seen yeah. the post fight, the post fight yeah, interview, like he, he was, he was not trying to market a dual, like a dual <laughs> type of partnership. He was like, I'm ready to go back to UFC. <laughs> yeah, like, he was lumped up too, pretty good. Oh, yeah, no, he was. You saw that black guy starting to come out, and yeah. I got a question. Have you guys heard him talk before? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Often, no. Like, yeah. I'm like, yo, D is a true Irishman, bro. Like, right. Yeah, <laughs> bro, he's not. He's not like American Irishman. Damn. He's Irishman Irish. Yeah, no, like I, <laughs> he's that's from, what I thought you like. He's from a Ireland. Little bit of an accent. <laughs> no. nah, but like, <laughs> he's full on leprechaun, man. <laughs> I know. Like all the stereotypes. <laughs> yes, yeah, like every single yeah. accent. That, I'm like, wow. right when he's at the podium with the whiskey, like after the after the fight. I don't know yeah. if oh, he was feeling himself. <laughs> oh yeah. When they're doing that post interview, he was like, away that pain. I'm sure he felt it. He fucking hit me in the fucking Face. Yeah, he had that man. That was like wow. Hey, he, he, all he kept saying that, it, it was a good fight though. I love me a good fight. No, nah, I don't think I don't think oh, like, like, knock. Right. <laughs> like Floyd knock. was saying. No, I don't. I don't think that they should have allowed the fight to continue, especially the way that tenth round was going. Yeah. Had he had he put that man down for real, like it, you know, he probably would have knocked him down. You know how it goes. You get knocked down, you get your your count, you go to your corner, you gather your bearings, and then you come back. It that would have been the the beginning of the end for real. Right. Had it gone another two rounds, that man, like you said, could barely keep his hands up. That's a, you're putting yourself at a big risk. Mm-hmm. There was a point in the ninth round though where they uh, he pushed him <laughs> to the corner and he was hitting him with those body shots. And when the ref separated him because he said it was a low blow, well, you, if you can hear on Showtime the announce like the commentators on it, they were like that was a legal hit, like that wasn't a low mm-hmm. blow. So, but I think if McGregor, if he would have stayed in front of him instead of going to his back like he kept doing, what his instincts kept telling him to do, mm-hmm. he would have might have. Really hurt Mayweather right there. Think so. But it's the fact that he just kept moving to his back and hitting him with those rabbit punches. Yeah, right. It's fucking him over. But to get off of that, because everybody already knows about that, <laughs> it's all over ESPN. <laughs> We're gonna talk about some uh, high school drama that's going on in the NBA right now. It's the <laughs> dumbest thing in the world. It's the Kyrie Irving and Isaiah Thomas and the rest of the Celtics team trade. And 
if you don't know about this trade, you know, Kyrie, he's, he wants to get traded. There was a whole drama with LeBron all summer. And somehow the Celtics managed to come up with some magical trade to get him to the Celtics. And they're going to trade Isaiah Thomas, who has a jacked up hip. Jay Crowder, who's like, what, second defense. team all defense? Like, yeah, the whole defense. <laughs> yeah. Uh, some dude named Zizek that hasn't even <laughs> stepped on the court yet, but he was like the number one actor in his school. And a first round draft pick from the Brooklyn Nets, who's going to be garbage. So it's going to be like a first rounder, like automatically. Like number one pick. Yeah. But I don't even know who's playing this Potential. year. Potential. Like in college, so. Yeah, we'll, see. We'll, we'll get back to you guys on that in March. Yeah. Clutch players. But so we all know Isaiah Thomas' hit was jacked up. We all yeah. saw it happen. Mm, yeah. So when this trade went down, everybody's like, why are they going to do this? So they're like, all right, we're going to sign for paper. Now they're talking about, oh, we need our doctors to expect him. I'm like, what did you expect to see? They should have had this stuff figured out before they even yeah. try to get this trade final. Yeah. And so, like, they bring him down. He does the stuff. And they see the stuff that the Celtics are like, we never lied to you, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we told you he ain't going to be ready for training camp. Now they're like, like oh. Y'all, we- y'all could have just watched ESPN and found this shit out. but Yeah. <laughs> if everybody's talking. They, they could have watched the Perfect Nation podcast. We talked they about it a couple times. Too, yeah, man. But, um. Brandon, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. But now they're talking about how the Cavs are going to talk for more, uh, more, more players, more picks, and stuff like more that. More assets. And so we were just watching uh, ESPN before we started recording this, and there's like the Celtics should ask for more yeah. because they're only getting one player for like yeah. four guys so far. Right. Like, I mean, Irving, Irving ain't going to be giving other teams forty like that unless he's the only one scoring. Like, I mean, Bron, he was doing that because of who else was on that floor. I really don't see. I don't see them thinking he's all all. He's mm-hmm. probably the best point guard in the league, yeah. But and debatable, debatable. But because you got your boy John Wall out there in Washington, you can argue. You can argue. With but he's locked in. Yeah, but I say he's the best closer. If I if the game's on the line and I need somebody to get those shots, and between him and Steph Curry, I'm giving him the ball. Mr. Oh, fourth quarter, indeed, he is. Ah, okay, I won't argue that. Yeah, but yeah. I mean. I don't know. This this drama is going to be continue till the fucking beginning of the season because it's, it's the dumbest thing in the world. It's just keeping the NBA in the news right now. That's really what it is. Like, gives give everybody that something was... to talk about. I mean, because next next off season is going to be all about LeBron anyway. Oh, yeah. going to the Lakers, yeah, or the Clippers, or wherever, or, Clippers. Yeah, or, wherever. or the Trailblazers, Timberwolves. We'll see. <laughs> I can see him do some stupid shit like that. Nuggets. Yeah, he ain't trying to go to Kobe. Bro, ain't nobody <laughs> going to the Nuggets, bro. <laughs> yeah, he did. No. Like, how, how you just go throw the Nuggets in there like they're a viable team? They, they can be. Bro, y'all, when Kenyon Martin left and Carmelo <laughs> left, y'all were just gone. Like We still made the playoffs the first year after they left. When Kobe after, had the rip charge? After we, at, no. That, 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 was like, that was like the middle of our run. <laughs> No, the, the the year we traded everybody to the fucking uh, to the Knicks, we still made the playoffs with Dan, uh, Danilo Gallinari and all them. Was this before Russell Westbrook started balling out, and yeah. before Kawhi Leonard uh, came yeah. to the league? Yeah, that was yeah. that yeah. was pre that time. Yeah, yeah this when we saw George Carl. As, uh, it was as pretty as much yeah, it was pretty much all Lakers and uh, yeah. <laughs> San Antonio. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. out west. Before the West came alive, basically. Yeah. So so we're not even gonna count that little run because y'all didn't win nothing. Yeah. I mean, we made it one year with Chauncey Billups. We made it to the Western Conference Finals. Right, Chauncey Billups couldn't even win a three on three basketball tournament. He, he made it to the Western Conference Finals, all right? If it wasn't for fucking Trevor Ariza, we probably would have made it to the Finals. That's what everybody says. <laughs> like, the Rockets say that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, speaking but, about the Rockets, um, <laughs> Houston got hit pretty hard with a hurricane. They're about to get hit again. Because by the time you watch this, it's going to be on Thursday. So we're recording this on a Tuesday. And that hurricane went back out to the Gulf. So, I mean, if you can help out, you know, the Red Cross got the little text link, you know, a little change if you got it. Just help them out. Because they're going to need some help out there. Yeah, it's kind of fucked up. That shit got fucking bad. Golf now, is no joke, man. Now, speaking about bad, I heard you had a bad draft. Man. Damn it. It I should be. Yeah, fantasy man. fantasy yeah, flaws. Yeah, man. So, I've, I've kind of had, like, two fucked up drafts, to be honest with you, man. <laughs> it, it should have been, first off, if you have to work during <laughs> any time around preseason or before football... Like employers should be able to, you should be able to take like a, a draft day, a sabbatical for. for <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> take t- take some time to get your mind right so you can focus. You know what I mean? Focus. Focus. You want a draft? You want a job? Man, what you want? <laughs> what you want, man? What you want, man? So he said focus. So the draft though, I was at work. You know, slow day, not much going on. As soon as the draft starts, I got shit to do. <laughs> I ended up drafting out of my entire team, myself, two guys. I somehow have 10 wide receivers. 
on my squad. <laughs> Somehow. Somehow. Ten. Ten. No backup quarterback. <laughs> I, I ain't got shit. I ain't got shit. I got too many wide receivers. So I, you know, I'm going to have to somehow put them into other spots to try to try to make it work. You going to force them to become running backs? Yeah. <laughs> well, did you even like, get a running back? Like in commercials? Yeah. The boss. yeah. So who, who all did you end up picking up that if it's pretty much garbage that you're just going to have to drop? Because I was watching it when it was happening. I was like, bruh. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how he's going to make it. Man, that's the thing, though. Like, some of these guys. Okay, so I'm just going to read you off my wide receivers. Mike Evans, okay. Doug Baldwin, All right. uh, Martavis Bryant, Jeremy Macklin, and Dante Moncrief, and Tyrell Williams. So you got a decent squad. Yeah. Right. It's just too many of them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's like five wide receivers on the low. I mean, it, the one the one I would probably let go is Moncrief, just because Andrew Luck is hurt. I don't know what the hell is going on in Indianapolis. Andrew Luck's still hurt? Yeah, he might, God damn. he might he might not start the first uh, first game of the season. Mm. That's crazy, man. Yeah, yeah he's um, I, I I still consider him a, a stash. I mean, if you want to trade me, trade with me, please. <laughs> but, he, he's a stash. Well, he's he got a shoulder injury, AC joint. Yeah, yeah, but man, I think <laughs> week six seven, he comes alive, man. Cause I, I mean, he was picked, he wasn't drafted in my league last year either. Yeah. Like, but he comes alive, man. He'll I mean, lie. I've seen him though. That's that's why, like, I haven't done anything with him. Ever, you know, nothing's really happened. But, <laughs> like, he, he, does, he, he does, he does get his points. You know what I mean? Like, he, but you gotta know when to use him. You gotta, you gotta work those matchups, man. Gotta you gotta know, know when defense. to use him. Yeah, no, yeah. Certain. He only played seven games last year too. Yeah. He came alive in the mid season. <laughs> yeah, from games eleven through fourteen, then he got hurt again. Yeah. I, know, <laughs> like, I mean, he put in his work here. He put his work against Tennessee, the Jets, and Houston. But is that really mean, putting work in? Well, I mean, come on believe now. it or not, okay. As a receiver, the Jets don't have bums at, at DB. They do not. They they may be a bum squat as a whole. <laughs> but, uh, overall. But they, they, they ain't the whole that, bum. That they just the I mean, honestly, to, to be honest, they were, they're not a good franchise, no, no real QB, but it was it was Fitzpatrick that was really brewing in them. He threw three picks on average a game. Like I mean, would you rather have him or Geno Smith? You know, at least you got the run option with Gino. But Bruh, I mean, the, the dude can't even. He has a lazy eye. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> how watching dude his eye that before they drafted him. It is guy. Like, like I kid you not, you sitting there watching play, and you know they zoom in on the quarterback. You just see that eye go. <laughs> you can't study film. That's the problem, man. That's where. Oh man, you gotta you gotta, you gotta be versatile out there. Right? Hey, that, that should be an advantage though. Like look, right. look, look up the receiver, look up the DB. Bruh, it, that's the thing. All the DBs gotta look like. Where's the eye going? I'm going the other way. No. I mean, he's, versatile. he's a versatile guy. Man. Yeah, I mean, they, but they they don't have bombs on, on defense. And then, of course, with the Houston, they don't have bombs on They got the, the only thing on Houston, they just got a good D line. Everything else right. is garbage with them. But that's all you need, man. Because if you as a DB, JJ Watt can't play DB. The right. thing is, you don't have to worry that <laughs> that's much. That's all you, you need. Have a line that's gonna get to them. You you can you can bump them, and then you ain't gotta worry about having to cover him. You know, eight seconds later, right. it's, it's over. If I'm if I'm the opposing offense, and I know I'm playing against Houston, and I know your best player is JJ Watt, I'm putting three motherfuckers on him. Who else is gonna come through that line? Nobody. Nobody. Yeah, and yeah, if you mismatch, you know, slot receivers, tight ends, yeah, but you have to know that. So you know you play Houston. You well, we know this, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm sure, sure the coaches it, know this. Because when he got hurt, what did Houston do? Not a damn thing. Hey, Clowney, Clowney stepped up a little. Clowney, bit. oh, whack they ass, had, dreadhead looking ass. Man, they had Tom Savage, and they they won some games. That's what they you did. gotta respect them. I mean, the, the, their division is whack though. We got Colts, Jacksonville, and Titans. I mean. Speaking of uh, speaking of Tom Savage being a backup quarterback to uh, Brock Osweiler, <laughs> <laughs> who became a backup quarterback to Again. a rookie, bro, he's not even a back, he's about to get traded. Yes, yes, yeah. they're seeking. Who to gonna get. take that contract, bro? Right, nobody. What the Vikings probably, maybe no. the Broncos, maybe because they need Stated. a fucking backup. Some, they, 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 they somebody, somebody, bro, Patrick Lynch just got hurt. He, he, he's fine. It's just a what? bone bruise. No, 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 no. no. You never know. It might turn into something more. I well, you already know they were talking about bringing Kaepernick in. Damn. Who is? The Broncos? You know Damn. what? I can't see Cap right. in the orange and blue like that, man. Are you talking about color-wise or are you just talking about play style-wise? Well, play style, he's running quarterback. He's not going to fit with the system. Yeah. I, uh, yeah that. Well, you know, uh, scrambling the quarterback, last time I remember y'all was balling heavy was uh, uh, when a young guy out of this – out of the school that we're gonna be on Saturday, <laughs> out of Florida. Okay, let me let me let me tell you a little saying. something about that though. 
they had to completely redo the entire offensive scheme and plan to play around the guy that's going to make one read and run. And, and guess what? And guess what? <laughs> they got y'all that win. It, it was a defensive nightmare. <laughs> it, it was for that half a season. That he he played. I was so happy. Uh, I was so happy when they beat Pittsburgh for that. Boy. <laughs> I mean, that, I was so happy was like, for Jesus, that. Take the wheel, let's go. But, right. Yo, that's a defensive nightmare, man. Bro, why guy. did everybody hate him so much though? Like he. he I just, think he's just corny. I, like, I mean, I he was think, corny, but it was like, dude, like he like he's genuine. He's genuine, people, but he's, he's just people, he's just a corny kind of guy. Corny man. guy, and, and he, you know he, he's real. He's so motivating that it's annoying. That's true. I think, that is true. I think the real reason is his style of play isn't isn't conducive for longevity. Dang. No, I mean because you you saw throws. you saw that year after after we miraculously beat the Steelers. <laughs> it wasn't a we, miracle. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> we, 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 got, we got destroyed by by the Patriots. It's all right, man. It's the Patriots, man. They was going to deflate is, but... the footballs and, defla- and, and deflate y'all too. So I mean, yeah, man, <laughs> don't worry about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, but it is. But it would have been at anybody. Point, <laughs> at some point, if you really want to win, you have to you have to get past the Patriots, and you need a plan, and you yeah. need you know someone better than Tebow to do that. You need a pocket passer. Hey, man, all you need, all you need is a Lord, man. And you was riding with your boy. I mean, speaking of pocket passers, the Lions just gave uh, Matt Stafford a hundred thirty-five million dollar extension. Now they gave a hundred thirty-five million dollar extension to a guy who hasn't won a playoff game. Okay, he's trying. Now it's the trying. numbers. It's the numbers, though. I'm it's still a Packer fan. Okay, right that. You know, I got right a little hometown, hometown, right hometown. All right. Now he is the best quarterback the Lions have ever had. Oh, I was about to say, if you were about to say, I thought you were about to say something else. He oh, I was is. about to pass. I, I got into an argument with one of my, uh, on my, one of my fantasy chats because I think he is a top 10 in the league right now. In the league right now. Not top 10 overall Hall of Fame. He is. And I, the argument that carried over into that chat was because they actually put Prescott <laughs> over Eli Manning, which pissed me off. Sam's I'm looking at you again. But Man, where, where the hell, where, where did you end up in this conversation? Because, well, they were saying how, like, they were talking about why would you give Stafford that, that, that money when I'm uh-huh. who you have no other options. And in that league, I mean, Bears are looking whack, but they won't be for long. Trubinsky's no joke. Vikings, look, I mean, that defense is going to be there for a while. But I'm saying you need Stafford. You can't afford to lose him. And to get making the highest pick QB because, you know, salary's going up anyway, uh-huh. you need him there. So you and think that was just a by default? This is just what they got to do. That much, he's not worth that much. No, no, he's not. He's not. He's not worth that much. <laughs> but he had one playoff game. But to his but defense, you're saying you're saying he, was, he played against when, 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 when they haven't been to playoffs in a while. But they've been twice since he's been there. All right, and they haven't been in a long time. They played the New Orleans Saints team that was garbage. Their offense wasn't though, and our, our defense was trash. And then they played Seattle, which may have been off last year, but. Still that Seattle. defense is the defense is a if you're a passing team you are going to struggle yeah. against me period no matter who you are you got to run the ball and we can't keep running backs healthy ever so well, I'm sorry <laughs> Lions I'm sorry I'm the Packers I'm just saying I don't understand why that team doesn't let people who want to leave the Lions just let them leave they still hold fucking Calvin Johnson's contract they held him and he yeah and I mean that's the thing Hall of Famers will leave the NFL forever versus like you know versus anything else. Calvin Johnson, Barry Sanders just walked out. Yeah. He's you know? like, I'm out. It's like, I'm done. And, and yeah, and, and that's unfortunate that Detroit's making people do that because the city is actually love. It's just the team is is is. Hey, so so real quick though, who who in this chat said that Elon Manning is worse than Dak? That's what I'm saying. Like, where, where, it had to be a Cowboys. What, what, right. what circle was this conversation had? It, it was it was it was Sam. I think it was you, Sims. You know, and, oh, so, point him out, point him out. Well, I know, man. I told him to follow the damn fucking college podcast. Uh oh. So now I'm really calling you out. So now you gotta follow the big dog. And they were saying that they don't think Eli is is adequate because they say, oh, they always say that Peyton is better. I'm like, okay, you know, but you got to have two. Oh man, they comparing brothers and brothers shit. No, yeah, I mean you can't compare to brothers. Yeah, yeah, like I mean, if you do, you, of course you're gonna say that. I mean, technically Eli won his Super Bowls faster than Peyton. Exactly. Uh, and, you know, <laughs> right, like. I mean. Yeah, it, it was. I'm, I'm, and they beat the Patriots, both times. An undefeated Patriots. I'm just saying. Yeah, I mean, it was very. Oh, uh, who oh, had, okay, so it makes for a good storyline. <laughs> it was the Sims. Pain. It was you, Sims. You put it with me. in order too. You said Brady Rogers, which I kind of. Uh, but Brady Rogers, Ryan, won't be this season. Though. Well, Big, you said Matt Ryan for the Falcons. It's number three. Third. Big Ben. <laughs> Hey. I don't know why. I mean, I don't. Big Ben. Is this all time or is this Wilson? current? 
Then Kirk. he said Stafford. Then he said Cam. Then he said Carr. Then he said Prescott. So this is just for this season. He actually was basing this off of last season. Okay, so Carr got hurt. Newton got hurt. If you're basing off of last season, yeah, I can see the top three. I can see that top three. I would absolutely. That, only that top three though. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody else was kind of like. Now, no, okay, if he is basing off of last year's stats alone, just stats, then I can see why he put Prescott over Eli. But if you're going no. by their body of work, hell no. Oh, no, no. no. You can't hell go hell to no. Super Bowls That's why I asked. Is that all time or is that just like. No, that's just the past season. That's what I'm saying. Honestly, like, man, you, you, give a rookie, you give a rookie love, but you can't. There's no film on him. I guarantee you Prescott will not ball this year. Like, oh, I've been saying I that for the beginning. They got film him. Well, man, the man, the man's right hand just got cut off, man, for six games. So what you but mean? But thing, like when, <laughs> when that, when he got drafted, I told all those motherfuckers we work with who are Cowboys fans, like, you need to start him now because Tony's gonna get fucking hurt, and you need to try to win this year because mm-hmm. after that, it's a wrap. Once they get film on you, man, it changes. Winston, Winston rookie campaign wasn't bad, but ever since then, bro, Mariota's struggling too. Like they, they, Mariota's struggling the day he came into the league. Yeah. He came from yeah. fucking Hawaii. His mechanics. His <laughs> mechanics were, I mean. Like, mechanics. how you playing football hey, in Hawaii? Hey, Mar- Mariota did start to look a little bit better towards the end of last season. Like, he might have been clicking. Shown some signs. Because he played with the Oregon Ducks, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, look, I played in Oregon. Oh, Chip Kelly. Fucking get out of yeah. here. That's yeah. why Chip Kelly not even a fucking coach no more. Oh, oh whack ass fucking Chip Kelly in this fucking high tempo <laughs> offense. On playing. one. That's on one. Where you down, man. And when you're smaller than everybody, that's what you got to do. Well, my thing is, all right, so back to Chip Kelly. You was coaching the 49ers who had a quarterback who could throw and run, and you still couldn't win games? Fuck out of here with that. That's what he couldn't get past I mean, that's, Seattle, man. He couldn't get past Seattle, dude. That's what he was doing in, uh, in, in Philly, too. But that, that division, you can't play that way. But that, that's how he was playing. And, who was the quarterback out there? The Carson Wentz? When that was no, 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 they didn't have Vic. They had Vic and somebody else. Because Vic Sanchez, got hurt. And they had, was it uh, Sam Bradford? So I know Sam Bradford got hurt and got traded to the Rams, and Rams he went from the Rams to the Vikings. Yeah, that, that quarterback situation was real, real. Yeah. It's Chip Kelly, man. He's a fucking toxic ass fucking. He just he requires a lot of athleticism. He requires all, from, from all aspects of the game. He should stay in college. He needs probably. he needs old linemen running four twos. Right. Yeah. He, he, <laughs> like... he does. He, 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 right, running up and down the field like you can't. You gotta have some cardio. For Shit, that's some man. SEC type stuff, man. Shit. That ain't SEC. That. That, that shit ain't gonna fly at Alabama. But no, Stafford, man, it was a smart move with the Lions because they, I mean, ninety-two million guarantee though. Well, I mean, they, it's who else, man? A lot of Derek money, Carr man. was making an average of twenty-five mil. That's a lot He's of making money. twenty-seven mil. He's bumping up the, uh, the 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 standard just like Bell was trying to do. Yeah. Who's on my fantasy, by the way? <laughs> yeah, he's bumping up the standards so QBs get paid more. You know they get paid pretty well. Right. Well, here's the thing though. So Tom Brady doesn't even make that much money. Tom Brady's doing what LeBron's doing, bro. No, man. That, like, his situation his situation to me is more like Golden State. Like, with uh, Curry, like, how for a while, like, he's just been kind of, like, coasting under. It's all about the success and stuff like that. Not really about yeah. the money. And so you got to take your pay cut so other guys can get money. I mean, yeah. so that you can get I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure Brady's getting money in other ways, man. He, he's married to a supermodel wife. Man, that, you know, that ain't tangible to him, man. <laughs> shit, man. I'm talking about how, what he making, man, not her. Well, he, he out there modeling Uggs and shit, too. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I mean, he got the Under Armour contract. Yeah. Oh, okay. I All mean, right. he got his little endorsement money and stuff. He did. He, 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 I'm, sure, I'm sure Robert Kraft is giving his kickbacks <laughs> for all those Super Bowls and shit. Speaking about endorsement, you see that uh, Super Bowl commercial with that, I think it was like a, like a dentist office or something? Like, right after the Super Bowl? I, I don't know if it was a dentist office or what, but he walked in there and he was like, they said something about rings. He's like, yeah, I got five of them bitches. Like, right after the Super Bowl happened. Like, oh, when did you yes, report yes, this? I did see that. I did see that. It was one of those what ifs if he was on the way to do that. Yeah, it was like, bro, like, you already, like, you you was losing the first three fucking right. quarters. Right. Like, Man, he made, he made that call as soon as it was over. Like, yo, yo put, that out. Put, it right. <laughs> put that out. It was some, like, local fucking dentist or something like that in, like, Boston, dude. Yeah. Wasn't even no big-ass spot. Man. Hey, he's trying to show out, man. Trying Cheesy. Out. He's trying to solidify it. But uh, back to the fantasy stuff. So I was looking at quarterbacks. I was looking at like available quarterbacks because I have some. I have Mariota and I got uh, some other garbage ass quarterback. Oh, I got Sam Bradford. So I was like, I gotta drop one of those motherfuckers. Hold on, but, hold on. Did you actually draft? Like you actually clicked Sam Bradford and said draft? Yes. <laughs> Boy, it was so funny when we were drafting, man. He was getting a lot of guys I wanted to. Yeah. So I feel like I'm going to see him again. Like, <laughs> I, draft. I'm just I'm saying, like, my game season. plan was working until Jemias Winston went off the board. That completely threw me out of the loop. I don't know why you even. 
Dude, I'm telling you, he's better than fucking Sam Bradford. Yeah, James. Yeah, I'm just saying. So, but I mean, what was your I thought process with Sam Bradford, though? I just needed a backup quarterback so I could get rid of him later. <laughs> I just needed to feel. I was looking at. I'm like the Patriots. I need to. So, is Mariota your starter? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, the other two. I mean, hey, <laughs> obviously, right? But damn, I just wanted to hear it. The mission is going to be more difficult for him than for, for, for Mariota than it would be for, for Bradford. Why so? Because, I mean, in the NFC North, who really got a banging defense like that? Besides the Vikings. <laughs> the team he yeah, yeah, going. true. I mean, Bears, they fell off. Lions do not have a D. They have Bly, and they, got, they brought in another DB, but they're not really banging. And then Green Bay had a terrible defense. But they don't know if enough. I'm biased. I'm biased. <laughs> yes. But when they're healthy, yeah. But either way, you got three other teams in that division that, or two other teams in that division that aren't really the defense on that main. But then you got Mariota, you got Indianapolis, whose defense has gotten better. Jacksonville has a strong defense. They just offense is just trash. And then you got Houston. But they only have a D line with one guy That's who's going to get triple team. Okay, because the D line makes <laughs> it, man. I'm telling you. Yeah. I mean, you gotta be the best DB when your D line gets to my man. So you gotta get the shot. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. Well, the only reason I brought this up because uh, Blake Bortles is out there. <laughs> <laughs> he, no, he, he just got demoted. No, no, well, they're talking about he's supposed to be the. So who, who, who else was there? Right. That's, right. That's Chad Henney. Yeah. Chad Henney. That's the thing. Henney. Henney. Henney out of. Oh, is he. Is, wait, is he out of. Um, no, he might be out of. Man, no. Henney? Yeah. Henney is out of Michigan. Yeah, out of Michigan. Yeah, he's out of Michigan. Man, that's a long time ago. Woo. He, Wilson High School, where he played. Wilson Long, Pennsylvania. But then he went here. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, they were talking about... Um, Took the hell to change. The, the coach was talking about, like, oh, it's the best I've ever seen him now. And I'm like... Ever? Ever. I mean, like, that's not saying much, though. Yeah, like, and rubbing like, in. he was that good. Although, for some reason, he would get points on fantasy. Dude. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't, I mean, <laughs> They're not going to win games. If you're always down... He's got to throw. throw. Yeah, that's true. He's that's got to throw. So that's why I'm like, this center, like, do I take the shot? Because, like, I don't want to keep Bradford out there because he's going to get fucking hurt. Yeah. <laughs> he's just, he got that badge with the collarbone. So do I bring him Blake Bortles just for, like, a Hail Mary? Just be, I mean, yeah, just because <laughs> for a he's Hail got Mary. Fournette back there. Which you got to respect the run now, mm-hmm. which means the pass would be more open than it would be in in, in Minnesota. Yeah. I mean, I mean, that's why I picked up Bradford, man, because Bradford, they're going to be down. I'm not Bradford, uh, um, Stafford. Yeah. Because Lions always play from behind. Cardiac Cats, man. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, fourth quarter, woo. And I know Bortles is trying to play for respect now because he's like, oh, everybody dissing me and shit, and, you know, nobody think I can play. I think he's going to try to go out there and try to ball. If not, if he fucking falls off and they do bring him a boy Cap, uh, switchy, switchy, switch, <laughs> boom, 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 I'm good. Because yeah, Cap's about to show him, like, you know your rights, touchdown. You know your rights, <laughs> touchdown. Yeah, man. <laughs> so <rough. laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> He's going to have this big ass helmet. It's going to be like <laughs> tiny hands going to go out. Like, it's going to be like it's going to be like them dudes everywhere with the with the hair hanging out, just rubbing and out the side. He going to go out over the fucking perm, just be like fucking Al Sharpton, like yeah. <laughs> oh, curls. Too messy. Man, so but to wrap this up, so um, I was watching uh, NBA on TNT, and you know they got Shaq and Barkley. Yeah. Those two, I think, legitimately hate each other now. Yes. Like you just now? No, no, yeah. not before. It seemed like it was kind of like a play fighting, like you know, like haha, you know, I beat you, like haha, I beat you. But now, no Shaq went and got that little doctor. Now he's like a little bitch. What? Say yeah. Again? He went and got the what? He went and got his little doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had like a little bitch now. Cause normally, like Charles would say something. Is it an know, honorary or he actually like? He went. No, he went. Oh, really? He went and got that shit. Okay. Now I give him man respect like that, but it's like. He he all in his feelings now. He thinking you know all high and mighty because he a doctor. Like, That's what everybody do though. And Charles Barkley called him out on the shit, so he's like, and so the chat's like, oh, he's talking, you know, some people don't even think he should be in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> yeah, I I understand. <laughs> I understand the Shaq. I don't understand. <laughs> 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 oh, man. And then so Charles Barkley came back like, well, you fat. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> man. Well, the only thing you joking the chicken nuggets. I don't know what you know about. <laughs> That's that, that's almost like the best reason to watch NBA on TNT. Just they, they get paid for that, though. Yeah. And you got Kenny Smith just over there lobbing them up. Just like, right, like, yeah. Hey, Chuck, what do you think about the women in San Antonio? Man, they are, they are out of shape, man. They over there eating them funnel cakes. But uh, Smith got rings, though, out of Houston. I think he got, what, one? One or two? Ring. A ring? ring? He doesn't have rings? I thought he only got, like, one. Maybe. Maybe it's just one. I know he oh, has well, one. Oh, we'll so figure it out. Since back when, when Shaq started roasting Barkley. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Man. The Jet. Oh, blue. Hell. Man, but nah, but so um, 
Well, we got one more preseason game left. Yeah, man, it's about that time. One more Hopefully preseason no game. More ACL injury, please. Bruh, everybody and their mother is right. getting hurt. Yeah, man. Every time you turn around, like, coaches are getting ACL tears. <laughs> like, come on, well, you man. You got these reckless guys running into the sidelines. Yeah, they, 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 they're hitting these guys low. I mean, but, but to the defense, man, they, they're they teaching, have to. They, you, it's, it's above the knee, but, it, I mean, all these well, You can't, you can't, yeah, you can't. They, they kind of... But I mean, like in the in the moment, like say you are you are going trying to go above the knee, the dude jumps or he, he yeah, makes a cut or something like that. You're gonna. I, yeah. I just think. I mean, I'd rather hit, hit him high, you know. But then they're, they're yeah, going to But then you get the penalty. Yeah, yeah. but it, I mean, you, I'm you don't want to risk that for your team. True, but you but, don't. Man, I mean, it's, 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 up, it's up, up here, man. He up here. Careers off that, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Waste. Well, that's that's a that's a. There was an argument from the players too. Like they 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 even said like hit us high. Like I don't want you to fucking take me out for the rest of my career just because you're trying to. You know, save. If you get hit high, though, you get that concussion. You get, you get I mean, I would you rather take a concussion or would you take a broken leg? I mean, you can come back from a concussion. Concussion. I mean, depending on how devastating. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can concussion. Uh, I mean, I mean, there's love with that CTE going around and the plague know, in the NFL. Right, I don't know what I'd want at that point. Because we all play organized sports coming up. We never made. None of us made it to the fucking league. Maybe a couple years in fucking college. You never heard about this. You might have heard about a guy getting a stinger. Walking around kind of woozy and stuff like that, but you didn't hear about all these fucking ACL tears. That's because fucking brain damage. That's because at that at that level, like man, these kids, man, they ain't worried about that shit, man. They dumb anyway. <laughs> we ain't making nobody no money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they ain't even worried about it, these people making people hundreds of millions and billions of dollars, man. And, nah, man, they got to protect that. Nah, little Timmy, go ahead and eat an orange slice. You'll be all right. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> just go ahead. Just go ahead and take a breather. Just go ahead and take a breather. Just <laughs> yeah, some more. Faster. Yeah. But one thing is like the the protective equipment that they wear because I know a lot of them don't wear the knee pads and shit like right, that. Which is, but like the helmet yeah. helmet wise, I know they have way better shit than we had in high school yeah. and fucking college. I know they do. And so, but you don't hear about you know your homeboy Joe Smo fucking committing suicide because he got CTE. But yeah, that, that's some, you I got mean, Junior Seau. Might it might have been clip. for other reasons. It could have been crazy anyway. <laughs> I mean, it's football. But I mean, here, here's the sport. thing though. Okay, here, here's the thing. Like, it's like Joe Smo. Like he say he does kill himself. For CTE, you're not gonna know about it because he's not high profile. Like, who gives a fuck about him? But like you said, Junior Seau kills himself. Yeah, like, that, oh my god, yeah. you know CTE. We need to study his brain. Could be all on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. We, we need, need to figure this out. Like, it's it's more of a high profile. Like, yeah. it's kind of fucked up to say, but they cared about that guy more than the other guy. All right, here's a question. You got kids? You gonna let your son play football? Hell no. Nah. No. My son negative. I don't care if we in Texas or not, man. My son is not gonna play football, bro. Right. Basketball. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> now, he gonna play. Look, look. He gonna look. He gonna play. He gonna play baseball. Yeah, that's where the money yeah. is. And he going and he gonna play basketball. Hey, so you gonna be like LeVar Ball out there? Hey, you know what I'm saying? Tap into the Puerto Rican roots. <laughs> get that baseball going. El baseball. <laughs> get my man's together. Yeah, that's. Bad. We already got the little tight hoop. And he already even tearing that little thing down. So I think we might hey. eventually get to the little t ball. Joint. So then, all right. No football, would you let him would you let him box? Oh yeah, I let him box. Bruh. But early, like and he's not gonna I'm not gonna I want him to learn to defend himself. That's okay. the thing. Okay. Right. So it whether that be by way of boxing or martial arts or whatnot, yeah, I want him to learn how to defend himself. But okay. not for not for like competition sport. or sport. Okay. Nah. Okay. Alright, here's another question. So for guys, I know we gotta wrap up, but say there was no CTE thing going on, right? And the odds of ACL tears weren't there. Would you let your daughter play <laughs> high school football? My daughter? Yeah. Negative. Hey, reason funny, thing, you, funny thing is you brought that up. When I was in high school, there was a girl that played football. I don't remember vividly or exactly. She played football. She was a strong chick, man, but <laughs> she nonetheless was a, you know, a girl then yeah. playing reason. football with dudes that, you know. Yeah. Because I was reading a single on Facebook. Um, one of the guys I used to work with, he, his daughter made the high school team. Really? As special like special team. What? As receiver. Oh, wow. Yeah. And from what I understand, she out there balling. Really? And the only way people found out is because she took her helmet off during the game exactly. one time. Exactly. That's mm. how we find yeah. And if it wasn't for that, nobody would have ever known she was a female. Man, so, she out here breaking boundaries. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean good for her. Can, yeah, good, good for her, it's man. The most, it's the, the, that's the one position where I, I thought like, you know, kicker and other things. Yeah, where I thought you it was... don't have to be as bulky. You're a slot receiver, you don't Oh, like no, the like the out. like Bro, the, the physical strength isn't yeah, a big. Just keep her on the, the outside, match. man. She come to that middle. She gonna get let the fuck up. That too, yeah, but like, I mean, but you know what though? Like also, like you know, now that the sport is getting competitive at these lower levels, 
you're going to have to get off that line, though, at some point. And, you know what I'm saying? If she ain't able physically to get past, you know what I'm saying, that man in front of her, I mean, it's going to be an issue. You know what I'm saying? All right, you ever so, see all right, so we're starting to run out of time here, so we're going to we're gonna have to wrap it up. But yeah, just uh, tune in every Thursday for the Churchill Show Prevent by Imperfect Nation Podcast. You can uh, hit us up on our Facebook. We got a website. We got an Instagram. We got the. We got everything, man. We got everything, man. You look for yeah. it. We got it. And so, any last words, guys? Go blue. Go Broncos. Go Rockies. You know we're so hey half yo. came back behind hey the Diamondbacks. Kyrie, Broncos man, are coming in, man. Come, come back, Kyrie. Come back. We'll take you back. <laughs> Kyrie, bro. come back. Don't don't Let worry, man. <laughs> <laughs> Just come run with the winners, bro. But don't yeah. don't do this oh, yourself. Yeah. Don't do this yourself, bro. <laughs> so I, all I gotta say is, uh, roll tide, turf toe show. Oh.